Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you have extremely high CPU, RAM, or disk usage on your Windows device. So this is cross operation system, so Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, this should pretty much work for. And I noticed that while there are a lot of ways to hopefully reduce this type of usage, I do notice that the one and a couple of brief steps we're going to go through in this video seem to have the greatest yield of results. So that's the one we're going to pretty much be going with today. And without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by right clicking on the taskbar down at the bottom of our screen. And then you want to left click on Start Task Manager. Now, Windows 8 and Windows 10, there should be a Startup tab. And you want to left click on that, and then you would start disabling some of the startup entries. On Windows 7, you have to go back to Start Menu and type in MS Config. And best manager comes up to MS Config right below Programs. So we're going to open that up. We're still going to keep Windows Task Manager open nonetheless if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8. And if you're on Windows 7, you want to go over to the Startup tab. If you have any startup services in here that are not your antivirus, I'd recommend turning them off, meaning that they won't turn on when your computer turns on. It's different from uninstalling an application. It just is not going to start up when your computer boots up, thus speeding up your boot time. And you also won't have as many processes running in the background as well. And if you have a lot of programs installed on your computer, there should be a pretty big list here. So once you've made your decisions, you want to click on Apply and OK. And then you'll receive a system configuration notice saying that you must restart your computer to apply the changes. I'm going to exit without restart for the moment here. But like I said, for Windows 8 and Windows 10, you would go through the you would go through a task manager and you might have to expand the view by clicking more details at the bottom left and then there'd be a startup tab and once you've done that you want to close out of the task manager head back to start menu and you want to type in services and right below programs there should be something that says services likewise and you want to left click on that and now you want to scroll down until you find a service named superfetch right here and you want to right click on it select properties and now under startup type you want to set it to disabled and then click on apply and OK and once you've done that you can close out of the services window and that should also heavily reduce your disk usage as well and if you have any other programs so if we went back to the task manager here I guess we didn't need to close it out and you went underneath processes you can see different processes that are running on our computer and if we show processes from all users and we can make the window a little bit wider here you can see what kind of programs are running here and often your antivirus software will use several processes so you might actually have to add everything up and you can see how much RAM any one program is taking up as well as CPU and of course this will fluctuate and you can sort ascending or descending order by how much memory is taking up by just clicking on the top tab here and it will descend the order so it will be most to least basically. So pretty straightforward tutorial. I do hope this brief video helped you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.